Hello. I want to present a composition that I created, which aims to generate VR images from 3D scenes, created in Fusion, or imported from other applications. At first glance, the composition looks very complex. But, throughout the video, I will show you the nodes and parameters that can be manipulated to get your perfect VR. The composition works as follows. You connect your scene in the input 3D node and get the VR result in the Aqua Rectangular Out node. But, if you need a VR in a cubic format, then you take the resulting image in the Cubic Out node. Let's see how the process works. I created this scene in 3D for demonstration sake. As I said, just connect the 3D seam to the 3D input node. Then, take the VR image in the Acquire Rectangular Out node. If you prefer, you can get your VR image in cubic format, in the output node cubic out. But for that, you must disconnect the sphere node from the projection room node. And connect the cube node. We will see this in detail later. Let me reconnect the sphere to the room projection node again. I will show you the few nodes and parameters that you can change to get the expected VR result. But first, let me show you how composition works, so that you can better understand what is going on. I started from the following conception. I created a set of six cameras, all of them in the same point of view, each pointing in the positive or negative directions of the X, Y and Z axis, resembling the shape of a cross, inside a box. I call this set, Camera Rig, which captures everything in its surroundings, in 360 degree coverage. Render nodes are associated with each of the cameras. Camera 1 Camera 2 Camera 3 Camera 4 Camera 5 Camera 6 Following the composition flow, each render node feeds a projector. Here, I also created a projector rig, with the same setting as the camera rig. Projector 1 Projector 2 Projector 3 Projector 4 Projector 5, pointing up And Projector 6, pointing down These projectors, will project the images of each render node, on the surface of a sphere Or on the faces of a cube Now, the sphere is connected to the Merge 3D node that I call, Projection Room. The six projectors completely cover the surface of the sphere. Let's see one by one. Starting with the projectors from the bottom up, Projector 6. Projector 5. Projector 4 Projector 3 Projector 2 Projector 1 The same occurs with the cube. This is the same idea of projecting on its faces. Let me connect the sphere again. Thanks to the OpenGL UV renderer mode, we get the result in a quiet rectangular. Feeding the acquire rectangular out node. So, 
This is the basic mechanism of composition. We have a camera rig, which photographs the 3D scene in 360 degrees, and then projects the rendered images in the same direction, on the surface of a sphere, or on the faces of a cube. Let's see which are the nodes that can be managed, to get what you are expecting. Let's start with the preview camera. The PrevCam node. Connected to the 3D input node. Let's see how it can be useful. Here, we have the 3D scene, with the camera rig. Here, we can choose the cameras, and see what they are seeing. Camera 1, camera 2, etc. These cameras are locked. They cannot move, otherwise, the final effect will malfunction. Therefore, there is no way to move these cameras in the view window. However, we can choose the prev cam, and thus, freely view what the camera rig point of view sees. Let me open the 3D input node in a new view. Let me choose the perspective view. The camera rig can be moved with the rig translation node through the translation parameters. It can also be moved directly in the view window. Let's get a little closer to see the prev cam operating. Changing the position of the camera rig we obtain a new VR image. If desired, you can change the render parameters of the camera rig. But just change the parameters on the first node, as the remaining nodes are instances of the first. For example, disabling the Enable Shadows option here, will disable it on the remaining nodes. Let's say that we do the same thing with the lighting parameter. This action also spreads to other nodes. Let's move the camera rig again. Depending on the capacity of your computer, or the resolution you choose, you can see the changes in perspective in the VR image very quickly. Regarding the resolution of the output image, to change it, just go to the resolution node and change the value. For example, let's change to 4K. There is no need to enter a value for the image height, but only for the image width. Let's switch to 8K now. We have the resolution in 8K. Let me go back to 2K. To prevent any unwanted movement on the projectors, they were locked. 
If any of them move, the final effect will malfunction. And to finish the presentation, I'll show you how to switch your image output between acquire rectangular and cubic. If you want a cubic VR image, then you must disconnect the sphere from the projection room node. After that, connect the cube. For an acquire rectangular VR image, you must disconnect the cube from the projection room node, and then connect the sphere again. With that I conclude the presentation, showing the potential of the composition. I hope you enjoy, test, and give feedback. Thanks.